Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Modern Mining. Well, it's finally time to talk about the 4090 that I bought for salad. And you guys have seen it in a few videos now, but I never kind of made a full video on it. I also got a 3090 for salad. So we're gonna discuss that as well. And I also got another 3090, but I got scammed and lost $600 on it. Stay tuned for that video uh, coming up after this one at some point. So what do I wanna discuss today? Well, somehow my 3090 and my 4090, notice the fans are not spinning on them. They're making bank right now. And I haven't actually looked what kind of job they're on, but it's some sort of job that's using basically zero power and making each of them over $5 a day in profit. So I'm gonna take the camera down and let's take a closer look after today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Via BTC. Via BTC has been a leading global blockchain service provider since 2016 with some of the largest mining pools for the most profitable coins. Via BTC has a very active X account as well as a Telegram account with over 10,000 members. Be sure to check those out. Via BTC supports merge mining Litecoin with seven other coins. The list is constantly growing and there's a reason they're the largest pool for Litecoin. They also support auto withdrawals, which makes mining setup as easy as just setting it and forgetting it and getting your coins when they're ready. Via BTC is also rolling out a new crypto loans platform available on their website. So if you're interested in signing up to Via BTC pool today, I will have my referral link down below. You get a little special benefits if you're a new member. Check them out today, guys, and make sure to do your own research before signing up for crypto services and products. Let's get back to the main video. So generally every day when I wake up and head into work, if my 4090 is spinning, then I know it's got a job and it's making me money. But this morning, I noticed it was making a lot of money and both the 3090 and the 4090 are not spinning. So I'm very curious right now, generally that would mean that I have a CPU job, um, but let's quickly check on here and see what is going on. Sal is actively running a job, I do know that. Let's go to performance. And you can see here I'm sharing, I'm only using 1% of my 4090 and 3% of my CPU. I don't really wanna mess with anything else to potentially interrupt this job. Um, we'll take a look at the actual breakdown of the profits right now. But I mean, it is absolutely killing it right now. Like I mentioned, $5 profit here, $5 profit on my 3090, and then my 3070 and 3080 also have very profitable jobs right now. So along with kind of breaking down the story of my 4090, um, I want to talk about what is the best hardware for salad i've made some budget rigs i've made some expensive rigs what does the profit look like on each of them um, if i'm going to make more rigs do i recommend going the budget route or the expensive route what's the fastest roi what's going to get the most jobs um, i want to go over all that in this video now that i've had a lot of experience with salad um, i know what i'm talking about a lot more and I will be able to give you guys some better, uh, more informed information here. So uh, let's talk about real quick how I got this 4090. So I have had it for about a month now. Um, I spent about $1,600 and I drove two hours to get it. That was by far the best deal that I could find. This is a gigabyte uh, card and for what I can tell, it seems like a pretty dang good model. I wish the fans were spinning right now because it does look pretty cool with that purple glare on it. So I drove all the way to IU's campus in Bloomington, Indiana to get this. It worked totally fine, um, didn't have any issues with that. And so when we do our kind of ROI calculations, that's the price we will use there. Now, something to think about is, so $1,600 is a lot for a GPU. This 3090, for example, I got for $630. So significantly less money but they're both making five dollars right now so that's something we're going to break down is um, are you better off buying kind of lesser cards and making more rigs but also keep in mind the more cards you buy the more supporting hardware you have to buy motherboard cpus ram um, so we're going to factor that in as well so i think it's time we go ahead and get on the computer and just take a look at how much these are making right now. It's very strange because today is the first day that these have really turned on the jets. Um, they've been making decent money when they have jobs, but today, I mean, something turned on and they just started going nuts. 
you can see it on the chart from a constant profit to boom constant profit but much much higher so let's hop on the computer and take a closer look and we can also monitor our power usage so I know just how profitable I actually am and while we're down here I will kind of show you what um, some new plans for salad I have so I've got two one terabyte NVMe drives two Ryzen 2600 AM4 CPUs and then I've got uh, four sticks of 16 gigabyte DDR4 RAM uh, so I can make two rigs of 32 gigabytes each. So if you can't already tell, I am planning on making more salad rigs. And unfortunately, it's been a bad week with the 3090 scam and I was supposed to get some very budget AliExpress motherboards in for like $50 each. That package is lost and it also had two very budget CPU coolers. So I did go ahead and um, message AliExpress. I'm gonna get my money back from there at least, but I've been waiting for weeks now at this point for these motherboards. So I'm just gonna buy them off Amazon and pretty soon I will have two more salad builds coming up um, soon. And they will be using 3070 GPUs because that, I don't even like looking at it, 3090 scam issue. Wish I could have put that on one, especially now that it's making five bucks a day, but okay. Let's go check out the sound interface and see what's going on. So but real quick, this did just start spinning and this is what it's been doing kind of all day. Start spinning, cool things down, and then it will stop spinning uh, because it's basically using like no wattage for some reason. It really does not make sense. By the way, guys, I am going to have my salad referral link down below. I don't get any direct commissions from if you sign up, uh, but it would be greatly appreciated. It helps them know that my videos are kind of helping you guys out. Um, so definitely, if you haven't signed up yet, by far the most profitable thing you can do right now with consumer hardware is AI platforms and salad is the easiest one. So check out that link down below to sign up. So here is my farm. The last 24 hours alone is $12.5 in revenue from four rigs. I hope to get this up to six very soon, like I just mentioned. And here we can see that my pink line is my 4090 and my blue line is my 3090. Now I'm a little bit panicked here because I'm pretty sure that even just jiggling my mouse, oh, let's go. It was showing that my uh, 4090 was lagging behind and I thought I'd maybe broken the job, but nope, last seen one minute ago and it's still on track. So whew, we're good there. So as you can see for the last uh, weeks that I've had this 4090, it has only been generating 14 cents per hour, which is what this pink line is at down here. And then sometime around 6 p.m. last night, it really ramped up from 14 cents all the way to 20, basically 26 cents. It almost doubled in revenue, which I've never seen it do. This is the first day it's done it. So everything we go over today, take with a grain of salt because this is the first day it's been this good. And I will also discuss some of the downsides I've seen with the 4090. But the weird thing is the same thing has happened with the 3090 where it also went from 8.3 cents per hour jumped all the way up to 22.6 cents so the 3090 almost tripled in profitability which is nuts i was originally somewhat disappointed in my 3090 purchase because the red line is my 3080 it was basically making the same thing as a 3080 but costs one and a half times the price so if based on my last week's data it wouldn't be worth it to get but now these two rigs are killing it on these special jobs. And I'm going to break down why they're so special. So not only are they making much, much more, but let me quickly show you guys the power chart. If you don't know, I use Govi smart plugs to accurately monitor every single rig. I will have links to those down below. Um, they are awesome. And that was why I installed those 15 amp breakers behind my shelf so I can accurately monitor all this power. So right here, we are looking at the, uh, let's see, the 4090, you can see up top here, and we'll take a look at the runtime chart. So 10 a.m., 11 a.m., that is when we have this uh, high paying job, and we are literally only using about 0,621 kilowatts per hour. Um, don't worry about that too much right now. Uh, we are gonna break down the math shortly, but you can see that that is basically, um, the, the 4090, that's about what it always uses, but the 3090 tells a whole different story. So we should be able to see the power usage from this area where it's making eight cents per hour, 
versus the power usage when it's making 23 cents per hour. And I was expecting if the profit triples, then the power usage should triple, right? Well, no, the power usage has like cut by 90%. It's using like no power and that's why the fans aren't even spinning. So for the 3090 here, you can see when it's making 8 cents, it's using 0.45 kilowatt hours per hour. So it's using about 4.5 cents per hour to run. But now on this on this other job, it's literally not even using 0.1 kilowatt hour. So it's not even using 1 cents an hour to generate 22 cents. So I don't know why. Someone tell me down below. Why are these jobs so much better and so much less power usage? And I put it into a spreadsheet here. Bear with me. I know spreadsheet videos kind of aren't the most entertaining thing, but this is pretty good information if you're wanting to build salad rigs. So let's just go over the 3090 as an example here. So I have revenue per hour and then revenue max per hour. And this would be um, what you're earning when it is on these insane jobs. So normally eight cents on the max job, 23 cents power cost per hour is normally five cents. Um, but on the current one, it's not even a, it's not even one cent. So we keep going over here. Our profit per hour on the 3090 on a normal job is three cents on an insane job is 22 cents profit per hour which puts our profit per day on a normal job at 82 cents, put our profit on a very, on a good job at $5 and 20 cents for a GPU cost of $620. Our ROI is uh, 119 days on a max profit job and 755 days on a normal job. And we can see here for the other GPUs, um, I will zoom this back out here. So for a 4090, on a normal job, and by the way, this assumes that you have these jobs 24 hours a day, which, uh, which is not always the case. There's some days where you don't find jobs. But while I'm on that topic, I have actually found uh, if you don't find a job for a day, restart your rig. And uh, you're not supposed to do that, but I always end up finding a job pretty quickly after I do that. So I have started to do that. But so well, we'll go through the other cards here, a 4090 on max profit jobs is going to ROI in 270 days on normal profit jobs is 512 days. A 3080 is going to ROI in 403 days um, on normal jobs and 403 days on max profit. The 3070 and the 3080 both uh, have not had their max profit jobs yet. So these numbers are both the same. So a 3070 is half the ROI time of a 4090, assuming they both have normal jobs and one third of the ROI time of a 3090 um, on normal jobs. So the 3070 at first glance looks like you're better off just buying a bunch of budget supplies to throw 3070s on rigs. But I think we need to calculate in kind of the cost of uh, all the supporting hardware because obviously you can buy like, I don't know, five 3070s for the price of one 4090. But then you also have to buy five times the power supplies, five times the motherboards and all of that. And that adds price too. So real quickly off camera, I'm going to add that calculation in and see where does it actually come out. Okay, so now I've got a column ROI for the full rig. And what I've done here is I've made the column full rig cost, which is basically taking the GPU cost and adding $350 to it. Now I did that for both the 3070 rig and the 4090 rig, I added $350. And why did I choose $350? Because so far in my testing, I have found that really anything above 32 gigs of RAM doesn't seem to matter that much in terms of jobs or the quality of jobs, as in you're not gonna get more jobs with more RAM and you're not gonna get better jobs with more RAM. That's what I found so far. There was a short period of time where I had three 3070 rigs, one with 32 gigs of RAM, one with 48, and one with 64. And it seemed like the 32 gigabyte RAM one uh, with the worst CPU because I also had 5900s on the other ones. That 32 gigabyte RAM one, the worst one, had the same paying jobs and had e I think it had more jobs than the ones with more RAM. So... In my testing, you're better off with budget, budget, budget supporting hardware and then spend on the GPU. And so that's why I did 350 for the rig cost. Um, sneak peek, that little AliExpress rig that I was gonna buy before my motherboards got lost in the mail, 
that was $200 for the whole rig besides the GPU. Insanely, insanely cheap. Um, so 350 is honestly an exaggeration. But back to um, the ROI here. So what, what is the ROI of paying off the full rig cost? And this is going to um, take into account better if you have to buy multiple 3070s to make up with one 4090 kind of thing. And you can see here that for the 4090, uh, ROI on your full rig is going to be 624 days, assuming full jobs. And for a 3070 is 669 days. This is with the not the max jobs. This is uh, just on the normal jobs because 99% of the time I've just had normal jobs. But you can see here that you're basically equally um, okay to buy a bunch of little 3070 rigs or one 4090 rig. Now, in my situation where I already have a ton of 3070 GPUs sitting downstairs, I'm better off just by building a bunch of little crappy AM4 um, motherboard C computers. But there's also the risk that uh, 3070s stop getting jobs on salad because for months and months, they never got jobs. It's only up until recently that they started getting jobs, whereas your 4090s and your 3090s, 24 gigs of VRAM, they're going to have consistent jobs um, into the future. I don't see a world where they stop getting jobs. So that is my thoughts on hardware, what you should buy if you want to build rigs. I will have a list of parts down below that I think are good for building salad rigs, um, what I'm personally using. Definitely check those out. So lastly, I wanna just go over a more historical look at my rigs kind of over the last uh, 30 days. So this period right here, my power was out while I was on vacation, so don't really pay attention to that. Um, and you can see here that the 3080, the red line has had the most consistent jobs over the past, what is that, 28 days, uh, about 20 days. Um, the 3080 has basically had full jobs, but all of a couple days. And then um, the 4090 is actually done pretty decent most days besides this one, two, three days right here where I did not find a single job for three days. And that was when I decided to test, screw it, I'm gonna turn it off and back on, and it found a job within an hour. So that is why, honestly, I'm always just gonna restart it until I hear different, because in my opinion, it's worked great. But you can also see that today, my 4090 rig is trucking. It has already made $5.8 and it's only 2 p.m., so it's gonna make a lot more than that. If we look at aggregate here, how much I'm making every single day on salad, my best days were around $8 if all my GPUs had uh, jobs. And today um, I'm already up at $12.5, which is pretty awesome. So that's what's going on with Salad, guys. I mean, the fact that it's using so little wattage is very awesome because most of this money really is profit. Um, very little of it is actually going to power. The 3090 is probably the card that's using the most power. 3070 and the 3080 those are not using much power at all so again i will have my referral link for salad down below guys um, i've been pretty excited with this and i'm excited to buy more rigs because it's been looking very very good and by the way i have heard all your guys um, recommendations on using remote desktop uh, getting the hdmi dummy dongles to put into the gpu so i don't have to use my kvm um, I am going to eventually set all that stuff up. I'm probably going to do it in a video, maybe with some scripts that stop Windows updates and do auto login so that I don't have to manually restart these after updates and things like that. Um, so there's a lot more sound content coming up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching Modern Mining. Peace.